I'm at today at TSX1.com. All right, guys, we're back here every single Monday. Today's episode is episode number two. I'm spending $100 every single week to see how deep we can go in the bottomless trap hole and see how much money we can actually make from spending $100 every single week. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Every single episode, I'll showcase you guys a recap on the previous episode on the cards that we got. So for last week's episode, this is what we got. So here's the binder and these are the most expensive cards that we got from the cards we pulled last week. So you guys seen right here, Imperm, Nurse, Appaloosa, Happy Firebrax, Cypher, Lord Omega, Harpy's Feather Duster, Honest Neos, Levineer, and of course, Nibiru, the Primal Being. And every single week, it's gonna be really awesome because this binder is gonna keep building up and building up. And it's gonna be really fun to see on what we can accomplish by the end of this binder right here to see what a beautiful collection that we actually have collected within the past couple weeks, right? So it's gonna be super awesome. This was episode number one recap. If you guys haven't watched that, go ahead and check that out. At the end of the day, the reason for this series is to have fun and to see how many cool cards we can actually pull from the products that we buy. So every single Monday, $100 spent, you guys will see on how many awesome things that we can actually build up. So, so far, by the time of this recording, we already spent $200 and we already have $86 that we made back from the first week. So let's see how many awesome cards we can actually pull so that way that we can make more than what we spend. And also at the same time, we wanna see how deep we can go in the bottomless trap hole. So if you guys love this series, make sure you guys smash the living heck out of that thumbs up button. It'll be absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys, before we get started with this opening, as you guys can see right here, this is the brand new Dino Rulers playmat. Make sure you guys get it today in the link down below. This is my brand new release for this week. One of my favorite playmats of all time, guys. If you guys haven't gotten this playmat yet, make sure you guys get it today in the link down below at TX1.com. It has, of course, your boy, UCT, over Raptor, Miss. But you got the two little babies over here. We got Giant Rex destroying this monster right here. And we got Overtax Quietless. But overall, this is by far one of my favorite releases of this entire year. So make sure you guys get your Dino Ruler playmat today in the link down below. And guys, also, a lot of you guys have been inquiring about this, guys. This week, I'm doing pre-orders on this beautiful Team Samurai X1 sweaters. So if you guys are interested in getting this premium sweater for yourselves just in time for winter, guys, it's getting cold out there. I'm telling you right now, this is probably the highest quality sweater you guys ever see. It's super warm, super comfortable, and the front is actually embroidered, okay? So it's a super duper simple sweater, and it's also very comfortable, and you guys can literally dress it up, dress it down, do whatever you guys like. If you guys wanna help rep the channel, make sure you guys pre-order your sweaters today in the link down below at TX1.com. All right, guys, I won't waste any more of your time. Without further ado, let's jump right into the opening. So the first product, we got Dragons of Legends, the complete series. I love this product right here because of the amount of cool reprints that we actually can get from this set. Guys, one of my favorite releases from this set is definitely the Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight reprint, uh, which is absolutely phenomenal. And he also comes with a die, uh, which is amazing. So this is, of course, um, I forgot the name of the dragon. All I know is Tamias, Hermos, and uh, what's the, the, uh, I'm actually bad. I don't know the dragon's name. I should be sent to the Shadow Room. So we got a dice right here. And the promo, oh, okay, so we got Awakening of the Possessed, got Gigobite right here. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna keep this sealed because I feel like it's better to keep it sealed. And we got two packs of the Dragons of Legends, the complete series, okay? So if you guys wanna know a little bit more about this set, let me give you guys on what are some of the most expensive cards out of this set are. Some of the most notable cards in this set is Dark Magician Go to Dragon Knight Alternative Art. That card right now is currently sitting at around $10. So we can get that, we can easily make $10 back. Another expensive card in this set is Two Kingdom reprint. Two Kingdom is around eight to $9 at the moment right now at the time of this video's recording. So you can actually make $20 back by just getting Toon Kingdom and Dark Magician Girl out of these two packs. So we can actually pull one of those, they'll be absolutely amazing. So, so far, we made $86 back, we spent $200. Let's see how deep we can go in the bottom of this trap hole. Without further ado, let's get started, guys. So right here, the Claw Hormones pack. Let's get started. So, man, this pack is super thick, and first thing that we gotta do, whoo, man, smells amazing. So we got, uh, so we got of course, Snowplow, Snowplow Hustle Russell, amazing. Flower Cardian Zebra Grass with the Moon, Red Eyes Transmigration, Prediction Ritual, Rising Sun Slash, cool. Cyber Angel Ben 10, uh, Aqua Actress Aruana, Scrum Force, Gassy Eye Cypher Dragon, amazing as the Ultra Rare. I think this card is worth some. Let's see how much this card's worth. If it's a solid $5, amazing. If it's a solid five bucks, 
Okay, two dollars. Two dollars, two dollars. Not bad, two dollars, I thought it would be five. Amazing, Paladin of Dark Dragon as the purple rare. This card's not worth anything. Uh, Curry Bandit, Raid Raptors Blade, Burner Falcon, Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon, Flower Cardian, Polonia with Phoenix, Tyrant Burst Dragon, Number C O one O six Number C one O six Giant Red Hand Prediction Princess Petal Leaf and last but not least we got Zushin the Sleeping Giant right here. So so far, not a lot of money has made back out of this pack. The only thing that we need to get is literally Toon Kingdom or Dark Magician Girl to actually save us from losing, right? So all right, let's go on with the last pack. Let's get started. Sniff the thing, man. I feel like the more cards we have over here, yo, why is my light blinking? It's crazy. I feel like the more I, yeah, man, it's, let's, let's see. Flower card in Zima Grass, number seat 73, Abyss Super Slash, Carboneton, uh, Aqua Actress Guppy, Black Cat, uh, Astro, Black Catastrophe, oh my God, the wordplay on that. Waka Story, Hiroshima, Time Magic Hammer, Dark Dragon Ritual, ooh, the Seal of Warrior Calcos. This card is not worth anything, unfortunately. Amulet Dragon, okay, maybe a dollar. Legendary Knight Critias, Okay, Train Connection, Reverse Reuse, Cypher Wing, Black Wing, Oroshi the Squall, Magic Hand, number 59, Crooked Crook, Crooked Cook, and number 73, Abyss Splash right here. So let's see if Amulet Dragon is actually worth anything. Amulet Dragon, worth a dollar. You know what, we're gonna add $1 to our pile right here. So, so far we made $3 back out of that Dragons of Legends, the complete series. So far, it is not looking good if you guys were to ask me. $3 we made back. That's not looking good. Let's go on to Legendary Duelist Season 1, all right? This set is actually pretty cool because the promos are actually worth something. If you guys want to know a little bit more about this set, this set is actually phenomenal when it comes to the promo reprints. Some of the most notable reprints in this set is Red Eye Slash Dragon. We got, of course, Red Eye's Baby Dragon. And last but not least, we got Millennium Eyes Restrict. All those cards right here, as you guys see on screen, has an estimated value of $5 per promo. So we can actually get one of those promo cards out of this. We already made $5 back out of our Legendary Duelist Season 1, which is actually pretty cool, right? So not that bad. But some of the cool cards you guys can actually get out of this set is Red Eyes Black Dragon. This is the set that changed from Red Eyes B Dragon to actually putting Red Eyes Black Dragon in its text, which is absolutely phenomenal. If you're able to pull one of those, that's $3 already made back, uh, which is actually not that bad. At the end of the day, guys, having super fun opening this thing and it's super nostalgic to actually just open this thing here on the channel for you guys so let's see on what promos we can actually get out of this right here so let's see the promos oh red eyes fang with chain the worst promo that we can actually get <laughs> not worth the most man now the only thing that can save us now is that red eyes v dragon pull red eyes black dragon pull let's see if we can actually make three dollars back from this real quick so let's go Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Bound, Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle, Ancient Gear Hydra, Cyber Dark Keel, Crystal Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. This card right here is worth two dollars. Two dollars right now, so we have three plus three dollars plus two dollars, so that's five dollars made back. Man, I'm going deep into the super hole right here. So we got of course Red Eyes B Dragon right here. We're gonna add two dollars uh, to our our tab right here. We have five dollars that we made back opening these two legendary duelists. Uh, which is absolutely terrible. All right, guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It is not the greatest thing. The Blackstone Legend, a Red Eyes Tomb Dragon, okay, Ink Gear Golem, Cards of Redstone, Darkness Metal Dragon, uh, which is the Errata version, which is pretty cool, and it's also the alternate art of this version right here, which is not that bad. Still pretty cool looking card, if you guys are gonna ask me. So, so far, we got, of course, the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon uh, right here, and surprisingly, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon is also a dollar, so we're gonna add another dollar to our tab right here. Honestly, I feel super bad counting up the dollar cards, but hey, any dollar counts, man. As long as it's a dollar, we're pretty much Gucci to go. So this card's like a dollar 20 cents, this card's two dollars. So we're gonna add three dollars to our existing tab. So we got six dollars that we made back so far. Next pack, all right, let's get that Red Eyes Bee Dragon. All right, two Ancient Gear Golem, Thousand Eyes of Shrek, pretty good staple, Cyber Dark Horn, Cyber Dark Inferno, Crystal Release, two Goblin Attack Force, Black Metal Dragon, Cyber Dark Impact, Cards of Redstone, Cyber Dark Dragon, and Millennium Eyes Illusionist. Okay, we did get that red eyes. Oh, let's go! I've never been so happy for the most expensive card in this reprint set, which is Red Eyes B Dragon. This is $3 right here. We're gonna add $3 to our tab. Oh my God. 
So far, we made $9 back. $9 back. Nuffy Rabby, pretty cute card. Not worth the most, but she's pretty cute. She, he, you know, rabbit, you know. And then, of course, we got Red Eyes Black Dragon uh, right here. Absolutely phenomenal. This card is three bucks. Which, oh, and Red Eyes Fusion. This is a dollar. This is a dollar. Okay, so we add a dollar to our tab. And we're also going to add $3 to our tab with Red Eyes Black Dragon. So far, we have a total of $10 made back out of these two Legendary Duelists and Dragons of Legends reprint set. So if you guys were to ask me, uh, yes, I am going deep into the hole even more uh, right now because we spent $200 and we made back $10 in this episode. $96 we made back so far. We're pretty much neg at this point. At the end of the day, man, it's super fun. I'm glad to be doing this. I'm happy and I'm super privileged to be opening packs. But damn, we're deep into the hole now. All right, guys, next, we got a set that can potentially make us our money back, which is Maximum Gold. Maximum Gold, one of the most expensive cards in the set is obviously Infinite Impermanence and also the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So if you can actually pull Imperm or Blue Eyes White Dragon, that'll be absolutely phenomenal. So you guys see the pictures on the screen right there. These are the cards that we're searching for. Blue Eyes is at like $26 right now, and Infinite Impermanence is at like $20 right now. And there are a bunch of 10, five, $15 cards in this set, which is absolutely beautiful. So if we can actually pull some of those cards to actually slowly help make our money back, they'll be absolutely amazing. So without further ado, let's dive straight into Maximum Gold, okay guys? Just a reminder guys, if you guys wanna get your sweaters, pre-order it today, link down below. That'll be absolutely phenomenal. Only this week only, guys, where you guys can have the chance to pre-order your awesome Team Samurai X sweaters. Also, at the same time, if you guys love dinosaurs, make sure you guys get the new dinosaur playmat today in the link down below at TX1.com. So right here, maximum gold booster packs. All right, here we go, baby. Come on, maximum gold. Give us something really, really good. <sighs> we got, of course, Union Scramble. Absolutely phenomenal. We got Lost World right here, really good. Alistair and Boker as our first uh, gold rare. Alistair, probably a dollar right now, so we're gonna add a dollar to our tab. So we're at eleven dollars right here, which is pretty good with Alistair Dean Volker. Trickstar Reincarnation, Sky Striker Kagari. Well, not worth a lot right here, but Kagari right there. And last but not least, got Berry Statue of the Abyss. All right, guys, next booster pack. Something good, please. Something good. All right, guys, Magical Meltdown. Machine Duplication, Normal Knight Brothers, all right? You guys, Chaos Dragon Levine here. This card is worth how much? So $2. So far, we have made back 13 bucks. And last but not, oh, this card's upside down. Number S39, Utopia, the Lightning right here. So we got Utopia the Lightning, not worth that much, but we got $2, so we made $13 back so far, which is actually pretty cool, you know what I mean? You know, we got a $2 card, not bad, not bad, but we actually need an Imperm or a Blue Eyes can actually save us from the hole right here. So we got, of course, there can only be one. Dragon's Beer, oh my god. Oh my god! Infinite Impermanence keeps saving our butts. Keep saving our butts, man. So, so far, I believe we made $13 back. I can be completely wrong, but Infinite Impermanence is $20. So we're gonna add $20 to our tab. Absolutely phenomenal. And we got a Kitchen Dragon Maid right here, uh, which is pretty good. Honestly, guys, I'm actually Trying to pull a factory error card like I did last time. If I did, that would be phenomenal, man. We need, we need a factory error. Kitchen Dragon Maid is $3 at the moment. And Imperm is 20 bucks. So we're going to add $23 to our tab. And this is how much we should have so far. So we got 13 plus 3, 16 plus 20. We got $36 back off of just literally opening up maximum gold. This set is literally a game changer. We literally need to open up maximum gold every single week, man. That is crazy. So we already made uh, some money back right there. And so $36 back, which is pretty cool. White Prince, Hero of the Arc Light, not worth something, okay? And Stardust Charge Warrior. These cards aren't worth a lot, but damn, man. I love, I love Maximum Gold. Card's crazy. And I don't, don't even know when I'm going to be able to pull that Blue Eyes. Because Blue Eyes is not loving me at the moment, man. But but that is absolutely insane. So, so, so far, we already made $36 back, which is not, not that bad. We spent $100. Made $36 bad. If we could at least hit 50%, I'm happy, all right? I'm happy in today's video. So $36 right here that we got so far. Let's go off to the 2010 five packs, five full cards right here. So this is the Majestic Red Dragon 10. Some of the cool cards in this set is I actually don't know. One of the cool things about older sets is that you guys have a chance on actually pulling Ghost Rares. Ghost Rares are really cool. And I feel like I need to go older into vintage cards, right? Because at the end of the day, man, opening these packs are super fun, but it's also super fun at the same time to actually go back in time to see how cool the older Yu-Gi-Oh products really is, right? So let's just start it with the Majestic Red Dragon 10. We got five more packs in here. 
uh, which is really, really cool. Man, 2010. Wow, here we go. Look how old it is. New to dueling, what's new in 2010? This is when the starter deck Duelist Toolbox, Duelist Toolbox came out, which is pretty cool. So this is the Junk Destroyer box. We also got Collectible Tin, uh, this is the Collectible Tins Wave number one. We got the Blackwing Dragon, we also got the Majestic Red Dragon, and this is the time of Hidden Arsenal 2 was released, uh, which is really cool. And Legendary Collection number one, which is really awesome right here, as the binder version, uh, which is pretty awesome. Duelist Revolution right here, one of the most revolutionized sets of all time, next to Star Strike Blast. That was a crazy time to you get right here. So this is the promo pack. Right here, let's see what we get. I actually don't even know what promos that actually comes here. So we got, wow, this all is amazing. It's been marinating in there for 10 plus years, which is ridiculous. So we got Majestic, whoa! Stratos comes out of this. I did not know that. Stratos right here, awesome. Okay, so we got uh, Val, the Dark, so we got the Dark Dragon Lord, Cyber Dinosaur, and Battle Fader, uh, which is pretty cool. I wanna check right now how much these promos are actually worth. Guys, Stratos is actually worth $4. Not that bad for a tin promo, which is actually pretty cool. So, Stratos right here is worth $4. We add $4 to our tab. We already made back $40 from spending 100 bucks. Can we make $10 more to actually try to make 50% of our money back spending this video? Let's see, let's find out in the next episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Just Red Dragon, this card's only worth a dollar. All right, so we're gonna put $41 right here in our tab that we made back. So $41, not that bad. Let's get started with the packs we can actually get out of this right there. So, all right, we got double copies of Shining of Darkness, we got two copies of Absolute Power Force, and last but not least, we got Stardust Overdrive. Honestly, guys, what I'm trying to get is at least a Ghost Rare. If you need to pull a Ghost Rare out of one of these packs, it would be absolutely phenomenal, man. That would be a huge treat. Even if you pull an Ultimate Rare, that will also be absolutely phenomenal as well. So let's get started with this old school Yu-Gi-Oh pack right here. So, Wow, 10 years stored in this box right here. We got some amazing stuff. We got Herculean Power, Spider Spider, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, Reptilian Medusa, the Jin, uh, Presider of Rituals, Spider Egg, Reptilian Scylla, Reptilian Spawn, and Swap Frog uh, right here. So nothing for the Stardust Overdrive. Let's get started with the Absolute Power Force. I remember Fina Shane is in this pack, and Fina Shane was worth a lot of money then. Forgotten Temple of the Deep, Black Potent, Gundari, Drill Synchron, Reptilian Gardener, Viper's Rebirth, uh, Apocat to Quill, Alien Brain. All right, guys, absolute power force. Man, something good. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We got Temple of the Sun. Okay. Magic Hole Golem, Tricul Tricular, Iron Core Specimen Lab. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, we got a super rare at least. Pulling a hollow is an absolute treat. Offering of the Immortals, Oil Man, Shredder, Reptilian Gardener, and Pot of Benevolence right here. I don't think this card is worth anything uh, whatsoever, but hey, we got a hollow. Let's just start out with Shining of Darkness, guys. Come on, give us an Ultimate Rare or a Ghost Rare. Please give us that. Uh, what Woodpecker, Memory Crush King, Tustudo Irad Newman, Zero Max, cool. Koiki Meru, Zero Max, The Shining of Darkness. Don't know if this one is worth anything. Now we've got two hollows, Quakey Marrow Shield, Infernity Break, Randomizer, Bio Falcon, and Leeching of the Light. All right, guys, we're on to the last pack of Shining of Darkness right here. And please give us another hollow, please. We got, of course, Lila, the Light Charmer, Dragon Laser, Morphtronic Vacuum, Genic Controller, <sighs> Magi Dog, Black Thunder, Infernity Randomizer, Spore, and Leeching of the Light. So that will pretty much round off for today's opening. Today's opening, we couldn't even make back 50% of what we spent, but that doesn't matter. We had super fun, we pulled some amazing cards, we pulled in perm, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, so far, according to my calculations, the price is shown on TCG Player. By the time I'm recording this video, I made $41 back from $100 spent. So, so far, we've spent $200, 86 plus $41, I don't even know how much that is. So to conclude today's episode and last week's episode, we have made back $127 out of $200 spent, which is not bad. You know, a little bit over 50%, that's probably 60%, right? Super fun today in today's opening, guys. Stay tuned for more awesome videos coming this week, guys. Make sure you guys pre-order your sweaters today. Hit the link down below and get your brand new 
Dino Ruler Playmat today in the link down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get your sweaters today down below. And this is your boy Sam from Team Center. Sam signing out. Smash thumbs up button for episode three next week. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right. Peace. Play Matt today at TSX1.com.